Hello guys, it is me, Mr. Ebra HD here, today bringing you episode 3 to FIFA 4 fun. And this guy's using a Super BPL team, and I'm going to get in some clips for you guys. Here we go. Alright guys, after seeing this team, this kid's team, we're now moving into the goals, which I am actually comment, uh, commentating as I'm recording the clips for you guys. So we're going to start off here, and uh, the first clip is going to be his Jack Butland making a save. So as you can see now, I rewind it so you can see from the start, but Lewandowski does a nice bit of work there and tries finessing it past the keeper, unfortunately Butland and saved it. But then to the second clip, and we've got, unfortunately it's a goal for him. And uh, as you can see there, a cross and a header, and that is pretty much this game summed up. And again, we'll have a look at our goal, and uh, I think this is Alaba that came inside there, he tried having another shot, got saved twice, and Goethe there is to bang in, into a re bang in the rebound. And, oh, don't want to watch the Butland one again, we'll have the Wilkinson goal, which he basically just did the same thing as per normal. God knows what Alaba's doing there though, but he's got another cross, so crossing is definitely OP on this game, I think. As we can tell from my goal here, so we get the corner, in whipped, and Jerome Boateng absolutely smashes that one in with his head. So that made it 2-2. Uh, and unfortunately, we had a miss here from Alaba from long range, he hit the post, and I uh, know not Alaba that hit the post, uh, Alaba put it wide. But it was unlucky not to score there. Um, and then we took the lead this time through Boateng. Again, another cross to header from the corner to make it, uh, I think that's 3-2 free, free, uh, free to us. And then we've got another save from Jack Butland. And as you can see there, near post OP didn't quite work for Juif as Butland makes a great save. And the Walters goal, he scores here to basically... See that at 3 3 e but and again it's another cross from him and it was pretty predictable and I couldn't defend against it. But then we got one sort of back of our own. Butland came out, tackled Juve, couldn't get it back, and Gundogan won the ball back. Absolutely smashed it across the box with a triple X ball and Juve, as you can see there with one more replay, just side footing the ball in casually. But here comes the cross and there goes the ball into the back of the net. So I'll move on to game two, guys, and I'll leave you with the highlights. Well, I'll come back to you with the highlights from that game. So that is it for now. I'll be back in a second. I'm back, guys. I just forgot to add in at the end of that little clip that I did there, uh, the match stats. And here are the match stats from the actual game itself. So as you can see, I had four goals to his three. So I won 4-3, obviously, and got the three points. Uh, I took 23 shots compared to his 4 shots. And uh, if you can hear a noise in the background, that is my dog. And I also had 17 of those shots on target. And he had 3 of them on target. So, uh, to be fair, if I'd done that, if I'd scored the ratio that he did, I would have scored 17 goals against him. But the possession was 59% uh, to me to 41, which is exactly the same as it was at half time. Uh, I made 12 tackles compared to his 21, and look how look at where all these tackles were from, like sort of like on the outside of the box, sort of areas where I'm about to take a long shot or something. Uh, I gave away one foul with Brotting. Uh, it was quite stupid from the ref actually. I don't think he deserved the yellow card. Basically, I just ran in, and I couldn't stop. And as I stopped, his player ran into me, and I got a yellow card for it, as you can see there. Uh, there was no red cards, no injuries, no offsides, but I had 11 corners to his zero which proves how much I was on the attack. I was absolutely pelting him with shot. And his goalkeeper, Jack Butland, fair play, he kept him in it. And the shot accuracy, uh, I had 73% to so his 75. 73% uh, shot accuracy is not bad when he takes uh, 23 shots overall. And uh, a 79% pass accuracy compared to his 64. So obviously my passing was a bit more up to scratch. So I'll be back in a second with the highlights from Game 2, guys. And I'm going to go back into another game with this team, guys. It'll be the uh, third time I've used this team for Formation Fitter, so there'll be one more match with this left, but that will be after Episode 4. But uh, let's go into this game, and I'll, have, I'll show you the team of the opponent I'm playing against, and then I'll come back to you after the game with the match highlights and the match details all into one, and hopefully we can win the title in this game. So uh, let's try and find an opponent. 
I think we found one. We found one. Uh, it's this guy. Ready up. And I think we'll go in with the Hartley Pulled Away kit. And I've got the Bradford Home kit. So uh, we're ready up. And let's have a look at this guy's team. This is going to be hopefully the win that we see, uh, need. He's got three goal players in there. Uh, is it Hunt? I don't know who the other two are. And I think it's Hildebrand in goal with a bronze team. Uh, the two centre-backs could be pacey, I'm not too sure. But hopefully we can win this game. So I'll come back to you after the match. Right guys, I am back with at the end of the match and I have won 4-1. As you can tell again, it is another live after match reaction. So we'll have a look at the match details. And this guy was actually pretty good. I will give it to him. Uh, I had four goals. He had one. I had 18 shots. He had five. I had 12 shots on target. He had two. Possession was 50-50, which made it a really good game. Uh, tackle was 19 each. Uh, I made three fouls. I got a yellow card compared to his none. Uh, I got no red cards. He got no red cards. Uh, he got one injury in the last minute. Uh, no offsides in the game. Uh, two corners for me, one corner for him. I had a 66% shot accuracy and he had a 40. And I had a 77 pass accuracy compared to his 74. Uh, no substitutes being made. And we'll have a look at the match highlights. So uh, we'll start off here with a Tim V's save apparently. Uh, not much in it then really. As you can see there, deflected and Tim V's just jumps on it. And I do not believe we didn't... Uh, we didn't actually score until the second half. Uh, no, we didn't. It took us up to the 53rd minute here as Alex Esvine somehow managed to get a goal there. Uh, a bit of a scrambled goal math there, but uh, still, we scored. Uh, Goethe then made it 2-0 to us. A uh, nice bit of play there and an absolute screamer off the inside of the post into the back of the net there to make it 2-0 to us. Um, Juve then missed a great opportunity there Almost won replicating his win in the first match. Unfortunately, he couldn't score that time. Uh, not much detail, sorry. Uh, and another save from his goalkeeper this time. And Goetz is smashing straight at him, trying to go for near post OP there. Again, if you can hear the dog in the background, I'm sorry for that. Uh, he gets a nice goal here. I thought he was going to take a shot to free kick, passes it short. And a bit of a aids there, as you can see, it just bounces off a few players before going past the goalkeeper. But nonetheless, a great free kick set piece. Uh, Tim Vries then made a save here. A nice coming out off his line as my defence just disappeared. And uh, Juf then missed a glorious opportunity here as he smashes it straight at the goalkeeper. And I couldn't get onto that, that ball there to create another opportunity. And then Juf scored a goal. Uh, the ball comes in here and he just takes it off Gundogan and... Just finesses it home, really. And to finish the match off in the 90th minute, a bit of scripting, you could say. s going through and abusing the near post OP. So uh, that is it for today's episode, guys. As I advance here, you'll be able to see I have won the uh, Division 5 title. 4-0-0 uh, zero, zero, with a 4-1 win there. And I think I conceded four goals overall. And that was in these two games today. As you can see in the top corner, I have actually lost the game. That was against the computer. As I uh, took on Team of the Week on Ultimate Difficulty. I beat it the first time. And then it didn't count. And I then played it again. And I lost. And that time it counted. So uh, that quite annoyed me. But uh, that is it for today's episode, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I am out. Peace.